So this is just some odds and sods from the section C on batteries. So they convert chemical energy into electrical energy. And what is the difference between the voltaic, the galvanic, the electrochemical cell, a battery and electrolysis? Well, uh, the first three are the same. A battery, according to the IB, is a portable electrochemical source of energy made from one or more voltaic cells. And don't get that confused with electrolysis. That's where you're putting electrical energy in and splitting up ionic compounds. No salt bridges in that one. That's the one that uses electricity, whereas cells generate electricity. All right, voltaic cells have internal resistance due to the finite time it takes iron to diffuse. I've not seen any questions that ask you to understand that, just to vomit it out. And the maximum current of a cell is limited by the internal resistance. Again, just a fact you need to know. The voltage of a voltaic cell depends on the nature of the materials. You know, is it carbon, is it copper, is it zinc? But the total work or the total energy that you can get out of the cell depends on the quantity, the amount of the materials. So let's try to translate that. Here's a regular Daniel cell. That's a zinc and copper electrodes in a solution of their ions. So the voltage depends on the nature. It's zinc and copper. You have to look that up on the uh, electrochemical series and you can work out the voltage. But how much energy you can get out of that cell, well, that depends on how much zinc and copper you've got. In fact, the battery will stop working when uh, either the zinc runs out or the copper 2 plus ions run out. So that limits how much energy you can get from it. Primary cells are single-use batteries, for example, zinc carbon, whereas secondary cells can be recharged. For example, lithium iron, lead acid, or NICAD batteries. Finally, how is a battery made from three voltaic cells? Well, draw out the three voltaic cells, erase all the wires at the top, leave the middle voltmeter, and then join them up just like I've shown you. I encourage you to try and draw this out for yourself. It looks easy, but it's also easy to mess up. And we're done.